Over 500 people have turned up at a meeting in Port Leash this afternoon to protest over proposed cutbacks to forced community employment schemes. Supervisors of schemes from all over the country are claiming cuts announced by Minister Joan Burton in the budget will lead to the closure of resource centres and the loss of jobs. They came to the Midlands in their hundreds from every corner of the country. Male and female supervisors on up to 1,200 community employment schemes, all providing important local services and worried about their future. Slash and burn in this sector and it's, you know, the Department of Social Protection. The social destruction is more like it. It's just destroying communities and it's going to get worse. Community employment supervisors are going to be vital people in the years ahead if this country is going to get out of the mess that it's in. Social Protection Minister Joan Burton has ordered a value for money review of CE schemes. The supervisors will not lose their jobs, but cuts of up to 66% in training and material grants will have an impact. We have meals on wheels and we're doing, providing childcare. These services couldn't continue without the support of CE. I mean, replacement rates would mean that the price of childcare would go so high it isn't available anymore to local area people, you know. The cutbacks to the fall schemes have caused widespread anger, not just with the supervisors, but in the backbenches of both Fine Gael and Labour. Joan Burton says inequalities in the way the grant aid is paid have already been identified, but she's under further pressure to make changes before the reform is concluded. Kira Malouli, RTE News, Portlaoise.